Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So, uh, what we saw in the previous lecture was uh, how to calculate the uh, local ring of an fine variety at a point. Okay. So, the, res the result was that uh, if x is an affine variety and p is a point of x, then the local ring of x at p is given by taking the localization of the affine coordinate ring of x at the maximal ideal uh, inside the affine coordinate ring, ring of x Ax. Uh, this maximal ideal MP has to be uh, you have to localize AX with respect to MP and the local ring that you get will be can be identified canonically with the local ring of X at P ok. Now what I am going to do now is I am going to try to do the same thing for a projective variety ok and uh, uh, just as in the case of an affine variety the, the local ring is given in terms of localization of the affine coordinate ring uh, in the case of the projective variety it will be given by suitable localization of the projective or homogeneous coordinate ring of the projective variety ok. So, so let me state that ok. So, so here is the theorem let uh, y uh, be a projective variety Uh, let p be a point of y ok then uh, o y p the local ring of y at p is isomorphic to the homogeneous coordinate ring of y localized at m p ok uh, this is an isomorphism as k algebras. where uh, 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 yeah I need to <coughs> so I need to localize and also take this degree 0 part ok. So, uh, where uh, S y is the homogeneous coordinate ring Y M P is the uh, ideal uh, generated by uh, functions in S Y which vanish at P. <coughs> And this notation means take the degree 0 part of the graded ring. Okay. 
So, so let me explain this. So, you see the situation is you have y uh, you know y sitting inside uh, as an irreducible closed subset of uh, projective space ok and uh, then you know of course uh, uh, you have the homogeneous coordinate ring of the projective space which is just the, the same as affine coordinate ring of the affine space above of which the projective space is a quotient uh, of course a punctured affine space <coughs> uh, and uh, and this is going to be k x naught etcetera xn polynomial ring in n plus 1 variables ok and the the homogeneous coordinate ring of y is just the quotient of this by the ideal of y. Uh, mind you uh, y is a closed subset of positive space so it is given by a homogeneous ideal ok and the homogeneous ideal is going to live in in this polynomial ring which is a which is a homogeneous coordinate ring of p n. So, this is so s y is just s of p n mod i y i y is simply all those uh, uh, i y is uh, just you know uh, uh, it is the ideal generated by all those uh, uh, homogeneous uh, polynomials which which vanish on y ok. It is a homogeneous ideal because it is generated by homogeneous elements and therefore this this quotient uh, because you are taking a graded ring and you are going modulo homogeneous ideal the quotient also becomes a graded ring ok. So, uh, so s y is also a graded ring ok and the gradation is simply given uh, reading mod i y right. Now, Now the situation is how do we how do we get this how do we get this uh, thing? So you know we use the we use this uh, 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 we use the we use the following facts which I said in the previous lecture. The first thing is uh, you in to calculate the local ring you can go to an open subset. Okay, that's one fact. The second fact is of course that if your subset is affine then you have a formula for the local ring. So, what we are going to do is go, we are going to do a very simple thing we are, we are going to take uh, you are going to take the point p uh, uh, of y and of course the point p is going to lie in one of the uis uh, the uis being the uh, uh, open subsets of p n uh, there are n plus 1 of them each one of them isomorphic to a n the finite space. So, p is going to lie in one of them then what you are going to do is we can just intersect uh, so p will lie in y intersection u i uh, but y intersection u i is an affine variety ok and therefore uh, it is easy to we know uh, by the previous theorem we know what the affine uh, what the uh, local ring is and we also know uh, that the local ring that we get will be the same as the local ring of y at p. So, this is what we are going to do ok. So, so here is a so let me draw a diagram. So, there is a diagram like this. Uh, so, so, I have the following situation. So, I have so, I have uh, so, I have p n I have u i ok. So, uh, p so, let me write here p is in y which is contained in p n which is union i equal to 0 to n plus 1 of u i where u i is uh, the set of all uh, 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 points uh, lambda 0 with homogeneous coordinates lambda 0 through lambda n such that lambda i is not 0 ok. And, uh, uh, so, so this how, so p belongs to u i naught for some i naught uh, as without loss of generality. Uh, okay, so let me 
uh, so let it be like this. Um, so we do the following thing. So I have this u i naught, which is isomorphic via the morphism phi i naught with a fine n space. Okay, and uh, we saw this uh, in uh, the lecture before the last lecture. Uh, uh, oh no, you're right. I should start with zero and end with n. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, it should be u not through u one. I there are only n plus one of them. Thank you. Yeah, so it should be i equal to zero to n. Okay. Thank you for that. So, uh, yeah. So you see, this we have already seen that this isomorphism is given in terms of rings in the following way. So there is a phi i not. So this phi i not in induces phi i not star, which is the which is given by pullback of regular functions. That will go from the uh, regular functions on a n to uh, uh, so if you have a morphism, regular function the target will by composition of this morphism give you a regular function on the source. Okay, so uh, I'll get regular functions here to regular functions here. So I'll get this to this. But you know, of course, this is just uh, because this is affine. This is just a of a n, and that is uh, identified with k t one etc. T n. These are the coordinates on the a n. Okay, and O u is as we showed in a uh, lecture before the last lecture. It is just the coordinate ring of p n uh, localized uh, at x i, and then you take the degree zero part. Uh, so this is. Uh, so here it is i zero. So here also I have to put i zero. Okay. So this is something that we have seen, and we have also seen what this map is. We also have this. We know what this, what these maps in these two directions are. So the map in this direction, uh, uh, the map in this direction is given by well, you give me a polynomial uh, uh, f. Of t1, etc. Tn, then the the map in this direction is given by homogenization. Uh, it's given essentially by homogenization and divide and dividing by uh, the uh, by xi to the power of degree f. So it's going to be uh, uh, xi degree f uh, times f of times f of uh, x. So this is xi not to the degree f. X x zero by x i not dot 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 x n by x i not uh, and then divided by x i not to the degree f. This is how this map is given. Okay, uh, and of course, uh, when I write like this, I mean forget uh, uh, forget uh, x i not by x i not. All right, so that you have only n of them because there are only n variables. That I can fill, that I can substitute for. Okay, so this is how this map is given, and uh, uh, we uh, we also know what the map in this direction is. That is also something that we have seen. Uh, if you give me uh, any element here, any element here will be of the form g of x not etc. x n. Uh, uh, this uh, this homogeneous polynomial of certain degree. Okay, divided by uh, uh, x i not. Uh, to the degree of g, this is how uh, this is how uh, an element here will look like, okay? Uh, because uh, you are localizing at x i naught, okay? Which means you are dividing, you are you are inverting powers of x i naught, but then you want the degree zero part, which means that the numerator uh, degree and denominator degree should be the same, which means that the numerator should be first of all a homogeneous polynomial of a certain homogeneous degree. And the denominator should be the same degree as the numerator, so the denominator should be x i to the power of to that power which is equal to that degree of the numerator polynomial. So it's going to be like this. And what you're going to get here is just simply, you know, you substitute uh, x i equal to uh, 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 so you just substitute uh, uh, so you divide you take x not etc up to x n divided by x i not. 
okay and omit uh, the x i naught by x i naught term you get n terms and you just uh, you just uh, 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 no that was a map in this direction. So, what you do is you just put x i equal to 1 okay and then for the remaining x naught to x n leaving out x i you put t 1 through t n that is what you do. So, so the map in this direction is t 1 blah 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 uh, uh, 1 t n where this 1 is in the i naught place okay. So, that you now get you have substituted for uh, n plus 1 variables and of course, uh, you essentially you are substituting x i naught is equal to 1 okay. So, the denominator is going to just vanish I mean it is not going to vanish I mean it is going to be 1. So, it is not going to show up here right. Uh, so, this is how this this isomorphism is this is the commutative algebra version of what is happening here in geometry uh, in terms of regular functions everything here is in terms of regular functions. Now, uh, now what I am having is I have I have inside p n I have this y which is a closed subset of p n irreducible closed subset of p n and then I get this y i naught which is uh, which is just intersection of uh, uh, this is just intersection of y and u i naught okay. So, what happens is that y i naught is uh, uh, is an irreducible sub variety of u i naught because you see y is irreducible closed uh, y is first of all closed in p n therefore, y intersection u i naught is closed in u i naught. So, this is certainly a closed subset of that and then this is uh, y i naught on the other hand is also irreducible why because y i naught is y intersection u i naught which is an open subset of y and an open subset of something that is irreducible continues to be irreducible but is non empty. Therefore, uh, mind you p the point p is in the point p is here the point p is in uh, uh, u i naught and it is in y. So, the point p belongs here okay. So, this is uh, so this is a non empty open set. So, it is irreducible uh, it is non empty open in y. So, it is irreducible on the other hand it is also closed in u i naught. So, this becomes a irreducible closed subset of u i naught which under this isomorphism is going to be carried to uh, phi i naught of y i naught which is uh, well uh, um, I have to give this some name let me call it z i naught right and uh, uh, so, so this isomorphism carries this uh, irreducible closed subset into an this irreducible closed subset, but then this is a variety here okay and uh, so what is going to happen to uh, so this isomorphism so of course this diagram commutes here also the diagram uh, there is no diagram here I am going to draw it in the next board. So, uh, so this this isomorphism can also be uh, you can also write down what this isomorphism is okay. So, what this isomorphism is is well let us write it down it is going to be the following So, so what is happening here so let me write this part alone there. So, I have O of uh, a n which is a of a n which is uh, a t 1 t n and I have this uh, I have this which is v i naught star to O u naught which is uh, S p n localize at x i naught take the degree 0 part this is what it is. So, this is just translation of the of the of this arrow in into competitive algebra. Now, we are going to do this. So, you see when you uh, you go to an irreducible closed subset uh, the homogeneous coordinate ring is given by a quotient because s y is going to be given by uh, s y is a quotient of s of p n okay. And uh, uh, so, you know uh, so well uh, maybe I will I will try to 
use this part of the board as well. Let me rub this so that I can extend this diagram to the right. So you know uh, this Pn here, uh, so there is Ui0 sitting as an open subset of Pn, so this is an open subset and that corresponds to this localization uh, of S of Pn, so this is a, uh, this, this is a localization uh, followed by uh, well, so in fact uh, this is sitting inside uh, uh, the localization as the degree zero part, which comes out, which comes as the localization of S of P. Okay, so this is the localization just sitting inside the zero part, and this part of the diagram corresponds to this. Okay, and what is happening is that Y is an irreducible closed subset of P n, and uh, its homogeneous coordinate ring is a quotient of P n. So uh, what's happening is that you have here you go mod uh, i y you get s of y this homogeneous coordinate ring of y so this you know corresponds to uh, this here which is irreducible closed a closed subset corresponds to a quotient okay and uh, so this corresponds to this and then you know uh, this thing which is the intersection of y with this open u i naught okay that will correspond to something what is that it is going to be well it is going to be uh, it is just uh, you localize so you know the pro this is a very important property in commutative algebra that localization commutes with taking quotients okay localization is what is called uh, uh, localization is exact okay the, the process of localization is exact okay so localization transforms exact sequences to exact sequences and you know a quotient fits into an exact sequence so you take a quotient and then localize is the same as localizing and then taking a quotient and these are all uh, uh, since standard from a first course in commutative algebra uh, so if you go by that so here is uh, so what i can do is i can take sy and i can localize it at x i not okay so this is the localization all right on the other hand what I can do is I can uh, on the other hand first localize at xi0 and then go mod iy localize at xi0 okay. So uh, this is not only can you localize a ring uh, you can also localize uh, an ideal in the ring in fact you can localize a module okay. So I, iy is an ideal there okay and you can therefore localize it okay this is the localization. And then, uh, 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 so you know, uh, then here what you will get is just S y localized at x i naught and the degree zero part, which is uh, which is again it will be a quotient here, okay. And it is this quotient, uh, and this diagram commutes, and it's this quotient that corresponds to this irreducible closed set, okay. So. Uh, so this this irreducible closed subset corresponds to this quotient and this irreducible closed subset corresponds to this quotient okay and on the other hand uh, what is going to happen on this side on this side z i naught which is phi i naught of uh, y i naught is an irreducible closed sub variety of uh, the affine space so it is going to be given by uh, its its coordinate ring is going to be given by the coordinate ring of affine space modulo the ideal of z i naught. Okay, so here it's going to be just uh, uh, here this this irreducible closed here this irreducible closed is going to correspond to a quotient here and that quotient is just k it is just going to be uh, k t uh, so let me first write it as a a and a of uh, z i not this is what it's going to be and this is just uh, this is a this is just gotten by going mod uh, mod uh, ideal of uh, z i naught okay and uh, 
so so which is just so it's going to be identified with uh, k t1 tn modulo ideal of z i okay and you are going to get an isomorphism uh, you are going to get an isomorphism like this this diagram is going to con co commute and this isomorphism is precisely the isomorphism of it is just this isomorphism phi i naught that is carrying y i naught to z i naught okay so this is what is going to happen now uh, so you know uh, so you know the point you see if you take the point p the point p is here it goes to the point phi i naught of p which is a point here okay and uh, you know that uh, uh, because you have uh, because you have an isomorphism of uh, uh, because you have an isomorphism of isomorphism of these two varieties the local ring of this at this point is going to be the same as the local ring of z i naught at phi i naught of p okay so what you are going to get is you are going to get a uh, 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 local ring of uh, uh, y i naught uh, y i naught at p is going to be isomorphic via phi i naught star to the local ring of uh, uh, z i naught at phi p phi i naught of p okay you are going to get this because we have seen that isomorphism of varieties is going to identify give you give rise to an isomorphism of local rings but then you see the local ring of y i naught at p is the same as the local ring of y at p because y i naught is an open subset of y okay because we have also seen that uh, the local ring uh, to get the local ring at a point you can restrict attention to an open subset which contains a point and y i naught is an open subset of y which contains a point because it is y i naught is just the intersection of y with this ambient open subset or the projective space so this is well this is the same as this guy is the same as uh, o y p okay this is what we want we, we want to calculate this and this is isomorphic to this right and uh, and what is this see this is uh, this as we have seen this is the local ring at a point of an affine variety and therefore it is given by this is isomorphic to to you take the affine ring affine coordinate ring of z i naught and localize at the maximal ideal corresponding to phi i naught of p this is what we have already seen we have seen this this this, this theorem the previous class that previous lecture that uh, the local ring of uh, at a point of an affine variety is just the affine coordinate ring localized at the maximal ideal corresponding to that point so so this a so this local ring uh, of, of z i naught at phi i naught of p is just the localization of the affine coordinate ring of z i naught which is a z i naught at the maximal ideal m uh, of phi i naught of p corresponding to the point phi i naught of p okay and uh, uh, and of course you know uh, this this map is the localization this is the localization map from the from the uh, ring of coordinate functions to its localization and uh, similarly this will also be the localization map it will be a localization map and the question is that uh, you need to know uh, what localization map this is so what is what is this going to be this is this is going to be this ring s y x i naught okay and then you have to further localize it uh, I mean this is take the degree, degree 0 part okay and then further localize it at the at the uh, maximal ideal that you get which is the uh, which is the image of this maximal ideal here okay so it is going to be localize it at uh, uh, phi 
i naught star inverse uh, uh, so this there is going to be a uh, map like this and uh, that is going to pull back this maximal ideal uh, phi i naught p it is localizing you have to localize at this ideal okay this is what it is going to be all right if you just follow the competitive algebra this is what it is going to be and you have to show that this thing you have to show that this thing is the same as that okay you have to show that this is this is the same as that right yeah so uh, yeah so one one has to really write write this down so let me do the following thing so you have see you have this so you have this you have this projective space and you have this y and you have this point p okay suppose p of course p is uh, p is p is in u i not okay so you know this p has uh, p has homogeneous coordinates lambda not blah 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 lambda n okay and lambda you know lambda i not is not zero okay because it is in u i not and now you look at the you look at this uh, projective space as a quotient of the affine space above I mean the punctured affine space above and then the inverse image of uh, P uh, uh, will be just the line in affine space through the point lambda naught lambda n uh, minus the origin okay this is what you are going to get and you see what is the equation of this line what is the equation of this line uh, in the in, in the in the affine space okay. So, you see the picture is that you know you have something like this you you have the origin and then you have you have this line uh, L okay which is this line L and uh, of course there is a point on it which is given by lambda naught etc lambda n and any other point on it on it is given by T lambda naught etc T lambda n that is how uh, uh, any other point on this line is given by and therefore if you look at the uh, uh, if you look at the uh, ideal of functions that vanish on this line uh, it will be a homogeneous ideal okay uh, we have already seen that whenever a polynomial vanishes on a line it has to have no constant term and then every homogeneous component of that polynomial also has to vanish on that line. So, uh, uh, the the ideal of this line is simply uh, gotten by eliminating t from the uh, the equation uh, from the uh, equation of a general point on this line. So, this line is given by you know x i is equal to t lambda i okay this is how it is given where t is a parameter okay and if you you know if you if you if you eliminate t uh, you will you will be writing x i by lambda i is equal to t is equal to x j by lambda j but then you cross multiply it because some lambda i or lambda j may be 0. So, you will you will get that the ideal of this line uh, in in affine space uh, in uh, of, of polynomials that vanish on this line is just the ideal generated by x i lambda j minus x j lambda i it is just this ideal okay it is just this ideal and uh, you know uh, this ideal will also be the uh, this will also be the ideal the homogeneous ideal of the point uh, of the, uh, the the image of this ideal uh, first of all this ideal will be a homogeneous ideal of course because it is generated by all these elements which are all homogeneous of degree 1 okay and uh, and what is the 0 set of this homogeneous ideal in the projective space it is just this point okay. So, the so this 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 will also be equal to the ideal of the point in, in projective space okay and uh, and therefore uh, so this ideal corresponds to this point in projective space and and you know uh, what will it correspond to as a point of y it will correspond to the image of this ideal uh, in s y in s y okay. So, you see this ideal is here all right it is a homogeneous ideal here and uh, if you take its image here here it will correspond to uh, the point uh, p considered as a point of uh, s y in other words I am saying if you take the image of this ideal here you will get exactly m of p namely the ideal of uh, the ideal of uh, the ideal generated by all homogeneous functions homogeneous polynomials which vanish at p 
vanish at the point p okay so i'm just saying that this this is the same as m of p inside uh, uh, so uh, its quotient is m of p so uh, uh, so this sits inside s y uh, in in set s of p n uh, and then you have a quotient which is s of y and its image there will be just m of p okay this is what you will get so so this is what m of p is all right it's just it's just uh, uh, it's just the image it's just the quotient of this ideal okay mind you this ideal will contain uh, uh, the uh, uh, this ideal will contain the ideal of y okay this will contain i of y okay and that 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 is the reason why mod i y it also defines an ideal right and uh, it corresponds to the point p in y right now uh, so you know if you if you go and try to calculate what uh, what this quantity is this quantity is just so you know s y uh, localized at m p 0 is going to be uh, uh, you know you see what I am doing is uh, I am taking a quotient okay uh, I am taking quotient by an ideal and then I am uh, and then I am localizing all right but I already told you that uh, localization commutes with quotients so what you can do is this is the same as you take the s p n okay localize it with respect to that ideal the ideal generated by x i lambda j minus x j lambda i okay and then what you do is uh, uh, you uh, you localize at this and then go mod uh, uh that's right you go i i of y localize at this this idea and then take the degree zero part okay this is what uh, this is what it is right but then the trick is that you know uh, the point is the following the point is that you know since the point lies in u i naught this lambda i naught is non zero lambda i naught is non zero let let me write it down so the point here is lambda naught lambda n okay uh, with homogeneous coordinates Uh, that is going to the point here which is going to be uh, lambda naught by lambda i naught uh, lambda n by lambda i naught that is going to be the point here okay therefore if you look at this calculation you will see that the maximal ideal corresponding to this point is going to be the maximal ideal of phi i naught of p is going to be just uh, uh, t uh, t1 minus lambda naught by lambda i naught and so on tn minus lambda naught by lambda i naught uh, uh, of course i omit uh, lambda i naught by I, lambda i naught okay it is this ideal mod this is this ideal mod ideal of z naught z i naught this is what the maximal ideal here, here is okay it is a it is a maximal ideal of this point the maximal ideal of this point is just the maximal ideal of this point in the affine space modulo this ideal of uh, z i naught okay so this point you see this point uh, corresponds to a point in a in affine space so it corresponds to a maximal ideal here that maximal ideal is this okay and that maximal ideal mod i 
of z i not will give me the maximal ideal in a z i not to which the point corresponds to in z i not okay so this is what it is all right and you know if i take each of these the elements like t1 minus lambda not, not by lambda i not okay if i take any such element and if i take its image under this phi i not star a map induced by phi i not star what i'll get is you know what this map is this map is just homogenized with respect to x i not okay so what i'll get is i'll get uh, 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 you know uh, i'll simply get x not by x i not uh, minus lambda not by lambda i not okay uh, this is what i'll get when i when i when i uh, when i when i apply this map i'm supposed to homogenize it with respect to x i not and then divide out by the same power of x i not okay so this is what i'll get and this is clearly an element of uh, uh, and and similarly you know if you take the element tn minus lambda not by uh, uh, sorry this is uh, this should be lambda n tn minus lambda n by lambda i not that will go to uh, under this phi i not star it's going to go to x n by x i not minus lambda n by lambda i not this is what it's going to go to because after all the map from here to here is you just send f to homogenization of f divided by uh, uh, and then you 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 remove this power of xi that you put to homogenize it okay so if you apply this this is what you'll get therefore what this calculation tells you is that it tells you that this uh, this uh, ideal okay is actually it is no x i not uh, uh, x i not by x i x not by x i not is degree 0 and lambda not by lambda i not is also degree 0 this is a difference of 2 degree 0 elements so it is degree 0 it it certainly x i x not by x i not is certainly in the degree 0 part of uh, this okay so you know if you do this what you will get is uh, 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 you see all these see all these elements are here these elements they are all here okay and these elements generate a maximal ideal and it is localized and that maximal ideal is precisely this maximal ideal okay at which you have to localize this to get o y i not p. So you know so phi i not star inverse of m of phi i not of p is actually the ideal generated by all these guys x not by x i not uh, minus lambda not by lambda i not dot 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 x n by x i not minus lambda n by lambda i not of course you know I am able to write all this because lambda i not is non zero that is why I can write all this and therefore this uh, this ring what you what you get is just so so o y i not comma p is just s y localized at x i not take this degree 0 part and further localize at this guy x i x not by x i not minus lambda not by lambda i not and so on x n minus by x i not minus lambda n by lambda i not. this is what it is so let me let me write this uh, so let me again rewrite this what I am getting here is this is uh, uh, sy localized at mp mp is just the uh, is this ideal mod iy okay so it is just sy uh, this ideal ideal generated by xi lambda j minus xj lambda i uh, mod uh, uh, iy uh, then localized at 0 okay but you see uh, what I want you to understand 
is that these two are the same. You see what I have done here is I have taken S y, I have inverted x i naught ok, then I have taken the degree 0 part and then I am inverting everything outside this ok. But then you know if you if you uh, uh, think of it naively think of this x i naught as going out and getting multiplied with this ok. See if you if you have already inverted x i naught ok and you want to uh, uh, and you want to do this ok it is the same as multiplying this this thing throughout by x i naught. So what I want to say is that this is the same as s y localized at this and then take this degree 0 part which is exactly that ok. So I am claiming that these two are the same ok you have to just uh, you have to just satisfy your, yourself that that is true purely it is a purely commutative algebraic thing. See what you must understand is in s y localized at x i naught you know x i naught is a unit mind you x i naught is invertible therefore you know to localize this here it is just enough to localize this at x i x naught minus you can multiply everything by x i naught ok because x i naught is after all a unit. So it is enough to localize this at x instead of localizing it at this ideal it is enough to localize it at x naught minus x i naught times lambda naught by lambda i naught that is you can multiply by x i naught throughout ok. But then localizing uh, but you know x naught minus x i naught lambda naught by lambda i naught is the same as up to a multiple of lambda i naught it is just x naught lambda i naught minus lambda naught x i naught which is of this form. So these two are one and the same ok. So, uh, so, like, so, so, so let me maybe continue here and say that that you know so let me let me erase this line and write that this guy here is you know it is s y x i naught uh, localized at 0 and then further localize that see now I am going to multiply throughout by x i naught because x i naught is a unit alright. So it, it will become x naught so in fact I can also multiply by lambda i naught because lambda i naught is also uh, 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 a non-zero element. So I multiply throughout by lambda i naught x i naught. So what I will get is I will get x naught lambda i naught minus uh, lambda naught x i naught blah 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 and then I will get x n uh, lambda i naught minus uh, uh, lambda n x i naught. I will get this. So the way to do it is you remove the 0 here then you take the 0 ok you can do this. So uh, I will uh, I will leave it to you to uh, I will leave it to you to check that you know this guy here and, and this guy here are one and the same ok. It is just a matter of uh, some commutative algebra ok to check that this is the same as this ok it is a it is an easy check you will have to check whether this is also equal to this alright uh, but I leave it to you to check that this is equal to this ok and I will stop here.